Hey everyone, this is Michelle Kane for vegan.com and today we are going to be talking about school lunches. And the reason is that this past week on NPR, they did a whole segment about the film director James Cameron, who directed Avatar, the Terminator movies, the Titanic, and more. And he and his wife are environmentalists, and they decided to totally veganize the food at their children's school. This is such a cool piece of news because if you know anything about the National School Lunch Program, it's the ultimate stronghold of the dairy lobby. And they've actually gotten Congress and the USDA to pass rule after rule after rule, making it virtually impossible to remove dairy products from your school's cafeteria. Even just getting more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains into your school is a massive challenge. So how did James Cameron do it? Well, he and his wife were tired of the school system, so they decided to found their own top-notch private school called Muse, and they've decided that they're gonna be transitioning the cafeteria to 100% plant-based meals over the next year and a half, which would make it the first all-vegan school in the United States. Now they're able to do this because they receive no public funding, and that means that the USDA and the dairy lobby have no control over them. Now very few of us have the funds that James Cameron has, but you really don't need money to make a difference. Each one of us can do our part to help schools become more vegan friendly. One thing that you can do is support the Meatless Monday program. This program is now in hundreds of K-12 schools, both public and private. And this program is a great way to get your foot in the door with schools that wouldn't otherwise listen to your requests to get more vegan friendly foods. The Meat Free Monday campaign is supported by Paul McCartney, the Humane Society of the United States, Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, and tons and tons of individuals, students, children, parents, and more that are trying to get their schools on board. Keep in mind that once you go to college, veganizing your cafeteria turns from really hard to incredibly easy. By the time you're in college, the dairy and egg industries have virtually no presence there and no hold on the cafeteria. And almost every dining hall director will go out of their way to please the students. You can check out our vegan.com college guide for tips and advice about how you can make your university stand out when it comes to providing superb vegan options. One day, every child will have access to healthy vegan meals at school. But for now, the fact that America will soon have at least one vegan school is progress and is cause for celebration. Well, this is the news story I wanted to bring to you today. If this is a topic that interests you or you want to learn more or get involved, I'm including several links below that I think you'll find really helpful. So be sure to check that out and they'll be in the YouTube description box. That is all for today, but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.